Hey YouTube, aka Soggy Buns here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to fix the problem if you get the error x86 emulation currently requires hardware acceleration. Please ensure Intel Haxum is properly installed and usable. And then it says CPU acceleration status, blah 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 blah. Okay, so what I was reading, I was like, man, this is really confusing because I have virtualization enabled on my, my processor. And then I got thinking about it, went looking through the forums, and they tell you to click on this um, uh, AVD manager, or no, sorry about that. They tell you to click on the SDK manager, and then they tell you to go to the SD SDK tools, and then they say, make sure you have this Intel X86 emulator accelerator hacks installer revision 5.5 installed. Now, if you are, if you do have an Intel CPU, and you are getting this error this might be your fix to just um, simply go into your SDK manager click on SD, uh, SDK tools click on Intel x86 emulator accelerator and then I mean if it's not installed click on it install but as you can see I have it installed currently but um, if you look when I when I press play and I choose that emulator. Now if if you're not sure how to make the emulator, um, we're gonna go over that in just a minute. So I, I choose the emulator and I look still, oh look, error. X86 emulation currently require hardware acceleration. I'm like, okay. And then another tutorial say to go into your BIOS and make sure virtualization is enabled. But I mean, if you look at my other videos you can tell I have virtual box so virtualization I've run you know virtual machines so virtualization is enabled on my BIOS so again if you're running Intel go ahead uh, click the SDK manager make sure you have that installed and then go in your BIOS to make sure you have virtualization enabled but for me I'm running an AMD processor and just to uh, just to show you that I'm running the AMD processor I'll, I'll pull up properties real quick and you can see I'm running an AMD FX FX 6306 core processor so I'm not running Intel that's our problem so after digging and digging and digging and digging in the forms um, I wish I remember what form it was I'd give them the credit but the way to fix the pr this problem if you're not running on an Intel CPU is you click on AVD manager then you go ahead click uh, click on create virtual device uh, pick whatever device you're using to emulate. I want to emulate the Nexus 5 since that's what I have, that's what I develop on. And then click next. Then once you get into system image, this is where you, you make it make the change. Instead of doing an x86 processor or the x86-64, just click on the ARM processor, ARM a a e a b i. And then go ahead and click next. And then just to um, just to um, show you, we'll name this one Nexus 5 API 23 test. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and we'll finish that. And then it'll save the, the AVD. Okay, so if you look, it's right here. So we'll get go ahead we'll just close that. So now when we press play, it asks us uh, which emulator we want to use. We'll pick the one we just made, Nexus 5 API 23 test and then press OK and then since it's the first time running it it's gonna take a while so I'll probably speed up this process okay so now that the emulator is done installing we will go ahead and just launch the app that I'm working on just to show you that it works so just go ahead and click the run button and then if you notice down here in the the console we're not getting the error anymore and so now it's going to be sending it to the to the emulator and there it goes it launches so just remember it is um, if you have an AMD CPU and it's not working it's because you just need to use the ARM emulator so if you guys like the video go ahead and like it 
um, and leave a comment in the comment section below. If you have any questions, go ahead, uh, check it out on the website. I'll probably post a, a link on that in the description too. And thanks for watching.